Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, we originally asked for this um, audience before this committee back in February of last year. Uh, it's taken that long to get here. Originally, we were planning to discuss the failures during Hurricane Isel. As is always the case, PGV has come up to suck all the room, the air out of the room. Um, it continues to be an ongoing problem, despite the fact that the EPA produced this document back in 2000, was delivered to the county. Nobody in civil defense currently has seen this document. Uh, there's supposed to be an air modeling system. There's supposed to be an emergency warning system. Neither this county that permitted this, nor the State Department of Health, which also permits it, have done anything about it. We're going to take it up with the feds, count on it. This has gone too far. Now, to get to the point that I really wanted to get to, speaking of a cell, speaking of speaking to what just recently happened as the last hurricane went from a watch to a warning I called civil defense the question was asked of me when did the emergency road open in Pune well I didn't know what the protocol was so I called civil defense the lady at civil defense who picked up the phone I asked the question she said oh well we haven't discussed that hang on I'll get back to you well, five minutes went by, got to close to 10 minutes. Finally, she comes back on the line and she says, you will be informed. I said, no, I asked for the protocol for the opening of the road. You will be informed. And we went into lock loop. Uh, I also informed them that the, the signage along Kapoho Road that directs people to that emergency road in Nanavali, through Nanavali, was missing. It's missing this morning. Um, we're going to have a new council and we're going to have a new mayor and we'll get some people that actually give a damn whether we live or die. Thank you. 